I was asleep before. That's how we let it happen. When they slaughtered Congress, we didn't wake up. When they blamed terrorists and suspended the Constitution, we didn't wake up then either. Now I'm awake. The whole sense of G Gilead is really a rape culture, um, disguised through a piece of scripture. So it's this theocracy that um, allows a rape culture based on the need to have, uh, to increase the population through a piece of scripture. The ceremony is, yeah, it's an abhorrent act. In the book I remember reading it and uh, it was abhorrent. It's a rape, it's nothing short of a rape. Difficult to film, but what I think the success of A Handmaid's Tale, not just in the ceremony but in general, is that it's horrific, it's very, very scary and tense, but it's not gratuitous. You girls will serve the leaders and their barren wives. Without doubt, it's a, it's a seminal feminist piece of literature written by Margaret Atwood 30 years ago, and the adaptation honors that. So yes, it's, it's deeply, deeply a feminist piece. You will bear children for them. It resonates today because we see such a lack of equality amongst the sexes. In your house. The show is pretty much 90% uh, female collaborative voices. For me, it en enriches um, the piece and my performance, and uh, we, we, we need more of that. I'll send you to the car. We saw the election in North America and um, the inauguration of Trump. So yes, we saw that whole journey. And you know, um, a lot of people have drawn parallels. Tonight is a celebration of Gilead and of what we have achieved. I think it's happening presently if you look at what's happening to uh, the gay community in Chechnya. Yeah, the, the, the beatings, the torture, the locking up. Um, if you look at what's happening in, in, in parts of Africa and Boko Haram, I think of the kidnap and the the rape culture that uh, that is forced upon 200 schoolgirls, you know, it's happening right now, and I wish that wasn't the case. So w we can talk about the Trump administration, but it's right, the epidemic of fanaticism, of fundamentalism, of totalitarian states, of theocracies, is, um, it lives with us. To make the world better. Better? Better never means better for everyone. I want to keep on living for her. If you look at Assad, he looks like possibly a very nice professor at the university. You wouldn't imagine that he might well be connected to gassing children through chemical warfare. The face of authority is not always like Hannibal Lecter. It can be a very lovely, unassuming, gentle, kind face because a lot of the totalitarian, fanatic um, regimes think they're doing good. So, and that, that was my angle in on, on the commander, that he, he wants to take care of you. He wants to take care of the fragile society. He wants to redress the moral code. He wants to go back to traditional values. But be careful, because underneath that is a, is a fanaticism. Remember your scripture. Blessed are the meek. And blessed are those who suffer for the cause of righteousness. <laughs>